Oh, I was so close. Oh, to drowning, maybe. Not, not to the embers. M Moreland, it's over. Well, not for me, it's not. Then you're going to die alone because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. And so the visionary's fate hung in the balance. Would he choose life or succumb to deadly delusion? <clears throat> Hello. So, there's an ancient city under the sand, but it's flooded. Suddenly, a Nora Spear Maiden appears. Yeah, okay. Um. <laughs> well, you're not typical Delvers. That's for sure. What's this? Uh, I. I call it a diving bubble. <laughs> this is the Mark I. The Mark II was better, but uh, it got stuck halfway down. Air tube snagged. <laughs> you went down in that. Yeah. I hardly expect a layperson to understand. Because that's pretty smart. Uh, I'm sorry. May I remind you, you got stuck inside and nearly drowned. It'd have to be portable, though. Mm, machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a compressed, compressed air, air capsule. capsule. Hammer and tongs. What is this? What is happening here? What? <laughs> Yun, natin, breather. Yes. You got a Keep name? Eh. Hey, Lord. Moreland. Not a stranger anymore. You're a damn fool. Come on. I got the original schematics over here. Oh, um. Well, hold on. Just a couple of questions first. Fair enough. Partner? Partner? <laughs> What's so important down there that you'd risk your life? Uh, uh well... <clears throat> uh. Moreland, I'm not interested in salvage, okay? Whatever you find below is yours. Well, all right. Then what if I told you we were delving for the most spectacular treasures ever scribed by man or maid? I'd say get to the point. No nonsense. I like it. Behold, an ember. Hmm. I'll get to that one. Of junk. Well, now, yes, but, 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 with a proper spark, these magnificent creations of the old ones paint mesmerizing pictures in the air, and the ruins below us are full of them. A feast for the eyes beyond description. This is my old Gramps promised me. So these embers project images? Paintings of light. It's amazing stuff. This one showed the most beautiful woman you've ever seen. Beckoning all to a buffet of lobster and succulent beefs. <laughs> I must have watched it about a hundred times as a child in my old Gramps workshop. Hmm. See you down there. Into it. Over time, they die out. I cried the day that this one's light faltered. But there are many more below, as you'll see if you get down there like I did and my old gramps before me. How did your grandfather discover these embers? He was here 40 odd years ago. He, he was one of the first to lead a delving party into the West. He discovered the ancient city around us, plumbed the depths of this very structure. He found the hollow underneath and the glowing embers all about. Took as many as he could and brought them home. He always wanted to come back and get more, but, well, he never scraped up the shards. What he really wanted to do was use the embers to put on a show, one unlike the world has ever seen. Sounds like quite a guy. He was a true Delver and a true showman. 
and I miss him. But I will do him proud. I will gather the embers and put on a spectacle that would have amazed even him. With your help, of course. So what exactly happened down there? It was a delve like no other. A chance to follow in my old Gram's footsteps. Beneath this structure here is an enormous hollow, a, a dome protected from the sands. We built this elevator here to ensure easy egress and exit. It's quite a contraption, actually, and not so easy that... Right. Again. What happened? At the bottom. We beheld the treasure my Gramps first discovered. Painted images in the air of every description. Dancing women, and games, and coins, and promises of jackpots. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it's got to be good. Big as Kasha. But then, something went wrong. The images turned nautical. Waves went through them, even fish. It was like a strange underwater dream. Poseidon's dream. Yes. Well. Suddenly, there was this terrible rushing sound, and then an explosion of water erupted from the floor. So water just shot up from the floor and filled the place up? It was a raging flood unlike anything I've seen. We ran like forge fire and barely made it up the elevator as a wave just crashed beneath us. Shaken, but not stirred, I, I, I built the diving bubbles Mark I and Mark II. I tried the descent in each, but I nearly drowned both times. Abbot Dunn's beside himself. He thinks I'm insane. But I can't give up now. I, I, I've, just, I've come too far. And the embers are just barely within my reach. Well, maybe I can help. Yeah. Maybe you can. You guys don't seem like average delvers. We're not really delvers at all. We're, we're showmen. Oh. Like performers? You're Nora, and thus unfamiliar with the arts. We stage spectacles all around the claim. Stemmer tells stories, which I augment with all manner of sounds and fireworks, and Abadund, he, well... Complains? He handles the money. We <laughs> amounts to about the same thing. When we delve, it's to find gear for my theatrics. Which makes this delve the most important one of all. How deep is it? Can't I just swim down? Only if you have gills. You can stack 50 kegs in that shaft. Leave it to the Osserum to measure something in kegs. Talking liquid depths. I'd say it's apt. Apt or not, sounds too deep to hold my breath. Hence, our new invention. Okay. I'd better get after those parts. There's a fully intact compressed air capsule in the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer scouted a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. Probably get a, a little guest list of 50. <laughs> so we'd need at least three dozen kegs. <laughs> Brown ale, maybe. Uh, no, no. For him, scrappers up. Are you planning a party? Budgeting. For Moreland's funeral, thanks to you. <laughs> I was this close. <sighs> we were gonna move on. Leave all this nonsense behind, and you come along uh, and you spark your wet noodle idea. It's going to work. <sighs> I've heard that before. I'm always willing to engage. Mm. Oh. Oh. 
So, uh, how does someone like you end up working for someone like Moreland? I work with Moreland. We got three equal claims in this venture. I saw one of his early shows. Back when it was... It was just him and his inventions. Works of flame, lights and shadows, all kinds of gizmos. Never seen the like. But the man is all spectacle. No sense. Bleeds shards like, like, you get the idea. And without me to handle the finances, his dreams would be sunk. More sunk. Wish we were back in the claim. Plenty of normal shows to do without the, the salvage from this blasted place. And yet, you're here, in the middle of the desert, delving for his dream. It was a good one. But sometimes, a dream has to die. This dream of Moreland's... Is going to get him killed. Let's say it doesn't. What happens after he gets the salvage down there? Then we put on the greatest show the world's ever seen. We'll have, we'll have special seating, uh, premium ale, the works. Uh, Moreland will do his, his light spectacle thing. Uh, Stemmer will get their eyes a sparkling with his tails and I'll be selling tickets. <laughs> It's a nice thought, anyway. Moreland mentioned you were showman. What? An ostrom can't be anything other than a, a, a delver, tinker, or drunkard? <laughs> okay, sure, we are delvers, too. But that is not our main source of income. Mostly, we go town to town, putting on shows. These shows, what are they? What happens at them? Tales and spectacle. Uh, uh, Moreland's got the technical know-how. Builds uh, all manner of inventions, whirly gigs of, of light and sound, cannons that, that, that shoot fire and showers of sparks and stemmer. Keeps them enthralled with tales of adventure in the smoothest baritone. Yeah, that. <laughs> and you? Me. Who do you think handles the financials for the whole blasted thing? <laughs> those two... Eh, those two might have the, the sparks, but do you think they know their way around shards? <laughs> do, <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> so Moreland was down in this ancient city and... The three of us went down below. You? I can delve too. Right. And, uh, then what happened? What do you think? Water rushed in, we ran. Then, Moreland built that blasted thing. Nearly got himself drowned. Twice. He... You want the finer details of his stupidity? You go ask him. I'll leave you alone. Do us a favor. Leave us all alone. That's not gonna happen, man. I need something down there. The stout-hearted huntress approached. <laughs> Her appearance is sudden as a spark of destiny. When the delve was at its direst. That's, uh, quite the introduction. Hmm. Maybe, uh... Maybe a little internal rhyme instead. A maiden rose from the 
very sands that bore our woes. Nah, mm. too trite. What is it with you and all the uh, words? That's what <laughs> I do. The stalwart storyteller gazed upon the maiden with well-earned pride in his life's work. Stemmer Wordsmith, at your service. How did you end up following Moreland out here? Bright-eyed Moreland held his dreams aloft like a burning candle. And where that light went, the So you... Admiration is but a gentle fire. It's the spark of the Delvers. Okay, I guess... Your friend over there doesn't like me too much. You'll... <laughs> but oh, what a wicked mind from... A memory as long as life, or even... Uh, by that, he means he owes me shards. 147, to be exact. <laughs> but as sharp as he was in things pecuniary, he had a dull forgetfulness for how many times a certain wordsmith saved his hoary hide. 147! 147. What exactly... Well, uh, like a... Wordsmith, hammers, young, the old... I didn't take the Osir... Well, they say the only thing makes a cold brew go... But it's always best to hit the road before the keg runs dry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why? Why is that? Oh, oh well, the Osirm could get mighty agitated, or if they... So you're saying being a wordsmith... Oh, yeah. Story goes the wrong way, Osirm will throw... What, like fruit? Or more like... Chairs or grenades. But the veteran wordsmith, hammer in hand, ready to give as good as he. How do you think we got here all the way from the claim anyway, past those blasted machines? It wasn't by talking. Okay. Got to go see someone about an underwater city. And lo, the huntress went forth. Going to get away from this air capsule. Well, uh, good thing that Aloy showed up. This thing now. We'll see. Get back the to longer their sojourn in the desert, the crustier the shard counter's mood became. What can I do for you, partner? I've got everything I need to build the, uh, the incredible diving mask. <laughs> I think diving mask is enough. I won't quibble. The workbench is all yours. Yes. Yes, a flower. Whoa. There's a marvel. If it works, you'll let me try it? I want to get down there and get those embers. Assuming I don't drown. So what are you really looking for down there? It's hard to explain. Something that caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city. I think it started the flood. Well, I, I thought we started the flood. Like we sprung a trap. I don't know how we were detected. Like I said, the dancing lights around us changed, turned to sea life. There was this flash of red and the roar of water surging in. Wait, a flash of red? A, a red light from a spot near the grate on the floor where the water burst through. It was like a beacon. Or a warning. 
Thanks. That might help. I hope it does. And good luck down there. 